Uh, hi, it's me, Christian. Um, in a bit to try and make my house slightly more energy efficient and make use of the solar panels which give us excess electricity during the daytime, especially when it's sunny, um, I wanted to get a, a battery or some kind of home battery, but the trouble is like Tesla and Moxie batteries that fit into your AC system can cost like five or six thousand pounds. I don't have five or six thousand um, pounds, but I do have mm, a couple of hundred pounds, so I thought maybe I can invest that in something. Maybe I can get like a smaller battery for each room, for example. Uh, so with that in mind, I, I saw something called a Ctech i home battery storage system and I found a 240 watt one on eBay um, for £190 and they're usually about 240 so I thought okay I'll give this a try so uh, it's arrived today so let's have a look alright so uh, here we have the box CTEC i portable power station AC output, DC output, USB output, type C input output uh, what's that? 60 watt type C, QC3, USB, no idea what that means but Let's have a look. It's, it's a bit heavy. Um, as batteries are, I suppose. Camping, adventure, exploration, trips, fishing, backup, hunting, caravan. Okay, that all sounds fine. Mm. Manufacturer information in English. We've got Guangdong, Best EK Commerce Limited address. Looks like it's made in China. Yeah, made in China. That's fair enough. I remember reading that you couldn't power things like kettles, for example, so it wouldn't work with the kettle. I have had um, other batteries before that have been quite good. For example, this thing here. I've had this for a few years. This is really cool because it's, um, it's just an Ener Energizer power bank. I probably got it from Morrison's. You charge it up using micro and USB. Uh, and then it ex it, you can charge stuff with you know, USB. So that's, I mean, that's, I don't know how many milliamps that is. Capacity, 5,000 milliamps. So you can get much bigger than that. So this is probably, well, we'll see. It's got a nice handle. The thing I liked about this was it's got a nice handle. There we go. So it's easy to carry. And uh, let's see what we've got here. So it's quite a tidy, tidy object. I think these have been only been started to be made made uh, recently. The fans at one end. Okay, this is the business end here. So you see, I've got I've actually got an AC output, several USBs. USB-C and lots of other things, which I'm not quite sure what they do. It's got a readout display. Output 12 volts, output 12 volts, output 12 volts, input. So I should be able to charge this during the daytime. And then whoever needs to use devices after dark, then they can use this. Okay, so what we've got in here, what's this, oh, sticky pads, okay, so we've got, this presumably is the charger, uh, there's a couple of things that can charge it, oh, there's a USB-C to USB-C cable, that's nice, okay, that'll come in handy, we've got a cigarette lighter thing here, and a mail Mail cigarette lighter thing here. We've got the instructions. Thank you warranty card. Very important. One year warranty extension. Well, hopefully this is going to last ten years. I remember reading ten years. Let's uh, make a start. All right. Okay. Good luck with have it. I have port here. I didn't read anything saying what you should plug in first so I'm just gonna go for it. Hopefully it won't explode. And in we go. Alright. 
Let's get so. Let's get a go. Let's get a go here. One, two. Okay, we're on. Twelve volts USB full battery. Okay, let's try the light. Wow, that is a nice. Wow, that is a light. A light. That is a light and a half. It's bright, bright light. Okay. Okay, and then a short press for AC. And then I should be able to charge something up or uh, let's see if I can. It's a very nice unit. It's very uh, streamlined. I think that's what I liked about it. As long as everything continues to work well, I'm, I'm happy with this. Let's try the. Uh, let's try the AC first. Because this means I'll, we'll be able to use lights, possibly the TV I read somewhere. Okay, that's fine. It looks like we're 100% charged already. Let's try just the USB. Yeah, there is. Yeah, okay. That is nice actually. I guess I can charge a few different things at once and see how it goes. So this was only 190. I'm actually thinking this might be slightly overkill because we don't use a lot of um, electricity anyway in our house. By the weight of it, I mean, it feels like it's weight. T240, 3.6 kilograms. So you can also get the 320 watt one. I can't remember what they said about the ports. What kind of ports are they? Five volts. Oh, quick charge, three. Oh, that's USB three, okay. So the top two are USB two. Let me plug that in, charge my, and my cameras here. Okay, that's all good. I mean, the fan isn't even running yet. I quite, I didn't really like the way this was a sideways plug, but now I do because, um, Obviously thought this through because of that, see? Camera and battery, here we go. Oh no, I can't do AC at the same time as DC, can I? Right, so this thing must be for the solar panel, which I do not have yet. This thing would be to charge it to charge the battery off the running of the car. Well, it's not even breaking a sweat yet. And it's charging two things. Could probably charge something else. Well, I know, I can use this to power my, my equipment for when I go busking. Because I have some five volt. I've got some 5 volt equipment which I need to charge up. I need to charge up, definite. The mixer, yeah, the little mixer. Needs a USB power supply. Certain three things at the moment. And the fan's not coming on. Very happy with that. Oh, it's gone down a bar. Okay. Down a bar to uh, what's that? Do you see twenty percent? It's gone down to yeah. So now it's between sixty to eighty percent. Hmm. For two hundred pounds, well, we'll see how it lasts. You get one of these per room. One, two, three, three rooms, six hundred pounds. It's a bit better than six thousand pounds in there. But as the nights are drawing in here in Scotland, it's going to be it's going to be dark a lot, and the, the solar panels on the roof, which are four four megawatts, will not be used much. But it's it's mostly the the spring and the autumn I'm thinking of for this. 
because during the year, spring and autumn, basically the same amount of sunlight, twice a year. So, with energy conservation, I'm thinking small victories. I don't have enough in the bank to buy a six grand battery for the house. So I'll use 200 pounds to buy a smaller battery. Hopefully it'll last 10 years. It's 20 pounds per year. And if I, uh, the price of electricity is going up, so I should save more than that over the lifetime of the battery. And then after it's done, I don't know, I'll, I'll give it to the scrap, the scrap man, I suppose. Lithium iron phosphate battery has the following advantages large energy density and small size, excellent safety performance even if the cell is damaged internally, will not catch fire or explode, long cycle life, theoretical cycle times can be as high as 2000 times. Self discharge efficiency is low, which effectively improves the endurance of the equipment. Based on these characteristics of lithium iron phosphate batteries, the charge and discharge characteristics of the lithium Lithium iron phosphate battery are as follows. The charge and discharge rate at both ends, when the battery is 100 or 0, is relatively fast and the middle section is relatively stable. So I guess that means, means that it discharges faster when it's at close to 100 or 0. Use the standard adapter to charge alone and the full charge time is 6 to 7 hours. It's still got 4 out of 5 battery segments. But it's sunny now, so I kind of want to charge it up as best I can while the sun is out. And then, see how it goes. Each DC5521 port can be connected to a cigarette lighter output. So I can, I can certainly light my cigarettes with this. So it looks, it looks good, but I just have to wait and see how long, it, how long it lasts. So I don't know how much of a carbon footprint the creation of this has resulted in, but, but if I can save 20 quid a year for 10 years, it's going to pay for itself. And I'll be generating less electricity at night, hopefully. But it's only one unit. We're all in different rooms, so. But it's very portable. All right. Well, oh, it's gone down again. It's gone down another bar. <sighs> Has it gone down another bar? I'll be able to check. I mean, it happened while the video was on, so you'll know how long it took to go down a bar. We've got little feet under here. It's it's just a nice. I like it. It's a nice big ass battery. Is basically what it is. But yeah, that's it. Um, very happy. C Tech I made in China. Big ass light on the back. Plenty of storage. Is it three point six kilograms? Seems pretty durable. Hopefully the handle will never break off. If it does, that'll be a real downer. But yeah, it's the it's the AC and the USB functionality that I like. It's now 1 p.m. That's prime charging time. So there she is. And I'll just leave that to do its thing. Yeah, very happy with that. I might make another video uh, with an update in 10 years if I'm still <laughs> making videos. And if we go camping, we'll just leave it in the car, charge it up from the cigarette socket. And then whenever we go driving anywhere, it'll charge it up. So we'll have a light in the tent. Yeah, pretty good. Multifunctionality. I'm digging it. Alright, so that's it. That's the review finished. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.